Okay, so find the exact value for x which satisfies the function gx equals x. So guys, this is just a bit of algebra. So let's tackle it down. So let's try and solve the following equation for x equals 3 plus root x plus 2. So what I did is just subtract 3 across and then squared both sides, which will give us x minus 3 squared equals x plus 2. And then expanding the, the quadratic on the left will give us x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then of course, subtracting x and 2 from the right to the left will give us the, finally the following quadratic expression, x squared minus 7x plus 7, all equal to 0. Now, using the quadratic formula, this is what we should get. So plug in all the figures in, you should get, it should look something like this on your calculator. And then finally, you should get x equals 7 plus minus root 21 all over 2. And now, since x must be greater or equal than 3, which of course satisfies the inverse property and, um, and so on, we should therefore get x equals 7 plus root 21 over 2. The thing is, if we chose a negative value, it would be less than 3, so that would not be the valid solution that would satisfy the function itself. And of course, it will cause a problem. And lastly, D. Hence, state the value of A for which the following function of A, G, is equal to its inverse. Now, if we kind of um, look back, we can clearly see that from part C, it said that G, X equals X. So, so clearly, if G, X equals X, that means G, X, G, A equals A, which also equals the inverse A. So, in fact, all three equal each other. If that's the case, that means all these functions must equal A. And the previous solution, we found that gx equals x. And x was 7 plus root 21 over 2. So clearly, a equals 7 plus root 21 over 2. Now, to check if this is correct, well, you don't have to check. You just say state, so it's one mark. You can tidy the following polynomial. So I just did a little extra working. So you don't need necessarily need to do this, but this is just for the enthusiasts. So if you want to solve this completely, you can make ga equal to the inverse a. And then expanding, you know, rewriting the function and expanding the left and the right, you'd eventually get a, f um, a fourth power polynomial. Now, you can't actually solve this directly without using an educated guess or knowing at least what solution or one, one of, uh, at least solution or one of its uh, values. Of course, we know the first solution would be a equals 7 plus root 20 over 2. And really, if you just stop through that, then of course, you're going to get a nice lovely zero and that's it guys you know i hope this video helped and um let me know if you've got any other questions yeah other than that i want you all to have a nice amazing day and uh, check back for question four and the rest of my paper and of course if you're really enjoying these videos please give this a like share it to your friends and of course um, hit the bell on the playlist and other than that i shall sh uh, see you guys soon ciao